it's so good of you to join us yeah, when we start talking about rotations. Yeah? And a rotation is a type of transformation yeah, which makes an object, uh, an object change position or shape. Yeah? We have done reflections including diagonal mirror lines. We're doing rotations now, translations and enlargements for later. Okay. And with rotations, as you can see here, the question says a 90 degree rotation anti-clockwise and make sure you understand that anti-clockwise is in that direction and clockwise would be in that direction and it gives me some sort of center yeah because for all rotations you're going to get three pieces of information the center of rotation yeah the angle of rotation usually 90 180 or 270 degrees and the direction yeah is it going to be anti-clockwise or is it going to be a clockwise rotation now, I already want to tell you, although we've just started, that if you have an angle of rotation of 180 degrees, yeah, they do not necessarily have to give you the direction. Because 180 degrees rotation in a clockwise direction is going to give you the same as 180 degrees in an anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so please be aware of that. Try to understand that. Anyway, we go into the question, the rotation. It says 90 degrees. Anti-clockwise, always take a moment to make sure I understand anti-clockwise, yeah, that is in that direction, yeah, and that's the center of rotation. Now, there are several ways of doing this, um, and one of them is with tracing paper. Now, I don't really, personally don't really prefer this method, um, but the vast majority of my students do, so I kind of, you know, okay, I'll do it your way then. And I'm going to trace my object in a second, but before I do so, I'm going to do the following already. Because 90 degree rotation, I'm just going to draw a line from the center to my object. Yeah. And I'm going to do the same. Oh, it's going to, sorry, that's the ink. Uh, and I'll do it like this. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's going to help me to decide what exactly 90 degrees is going to be in a minute. Okay, I'm going to put my tracing paper over it. And I'm going to trace my object. And of course I have to do that very accurately. There we go, it's a rectangle. Make sure you hold the tracing paper firmly to the table. That it doesn't move. There we go. Um, the last one. Two units. There's my rectangle. Okay. And I am also going to trace this one. Now I'm talking difficult because I have now that one in my mouth. All right, now it's going again to the center of rotation. There we go. All right, now it's time to rotate. I'm still holding that um, tracing paper firmly to the table. Okay, I'm going to take my pen, it's a little bit sharp, yeah, you could use a compass perhaps, I'm going to stick it in the center of rotation, you see that? Okay, so it, the tracing paper can move now, but only around the center of my rotation, do you see that? Okay, now again, 90 degrees anti-clockwise, this is clockwise, and this is anti-clockwise, I'm going in this direction, alright, and why did I draw those dotted lines because now I can see exactly 90 degrees. You see that? That is 90 degrees. I'm, can you see? I'm not sure if you can. My dotted line is over the dotted line on the paper, so that is a 90 degree rotation now. Okay, there we go. Again, I'm going to hold it firmly, the tracing paper, and I'm just going to kind of push the vertices oh, in my paper. Yeah, or yeah, you can try to remember them, but I like to make small little marks on the paper beneath or below the tracing paper. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to take it away. Now you probably can't see that, but I can. I can see little holes in my paper, little dots, they're not even holes. And I'm going to connect those dots now, because uh, that is my image. Yeah, the shape doesn't change, the position changes with a rotation. And I've used tracing paper. You can bring tracing paper to your exam, so that is not a problem at all. There we go. And finish it over there. So that, if that would be image C, that would be C apostrophe. I'm just gonna check that just very, very quickly 
So I traced it, center of rotation, 90 degrees, yes, anti-clockwise, again I'm going to check that, the clock goes like that, so anti-clockwise like this, and you see now, my tracing image, or my traced image is exactly on what I what I've been drawing then afterwards over there. Okay, so that's a rotation. It's going to give you a direction, an amount of degrees and angle and a center of rotation. Good. Um, I have another example for you next video and then I'm going to show you if they give you this figure and if they give you that figure, how can I find the center of rotation? Yeah, because you can expect a question like that as well. All right, I'll see you later.